Hello, welcome back. Couple of videos ago, we have created this script, and in this script, we are trying to check the the availability of a content, and that is teacher one. So if you are seeing teacher one after we log in, this is what is expected, and we continue to run the script. However, for whatever reason, if you do not see teacher one, then we abort the script. That means we make we we, we make the script failed and we do not proceed to do next execution here so here I want to show you something more interesting to do that I want to convert this script to the HTML mode recording I can show the same I, 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 I can show that concept here as well but in the URL based script the number of lines are more and it can be a little bit of confusing so therefore let's regenerate the script in HTML mode recording alright so this is the script in HTML mode recording and this is very compact so that's the reason that I want to move so let's let's just let's uh, quickly go over what we are doing we are going to the Moodle home page and then we are going to the login then we are giving we are registering for a string called teacher1 and then we are submitting the form with teacher1 and welcome1 as password and then we are log out this script is going to run fine because the moment we we log in as teacher one then we are seeing something like welcome teacher one okay or you are logged in as teacher one however let's change this thing to student one let's see what is going to happen if we log in as student one okay so whenever we log in as student one the the string here is student one we that means we are not going to find teacher one string therefore this test is going to fail that means if I'm going to just give here student one okay if I give student one then this script is going to fail because the moment you log in a student one the response of this request is going to something like this and here you are not going to find teacher one therefore this script is going to fail so let's see if that is what is happening or not okay so as expected the replay failed and to know where exactly the replay fell we have to go to the results and looks like this submit form has failed okay and this is this is expected because as we learn that we are registering for the string called uh, as, as we learn we are registering for the string called teacher1 and we are not finding but the moment if I give instead of teacher1 here I give student1 just have to be careful that so I just have to be careful to see what is exactly see this is capital O and this is only one space in between remember in case of teacher and one there are two spaces so therefore that time I have given two spaces and here what I'm going to do I'm going to make it one and now th this test is going to pass because whenever I'm going to log in as student one I'm going to find student one here as expected so I I'm going to find student one here so therefore this script is going to going to going to pass but the, but the question here is that whenever I'm going to run with multiple users sometimes I'm going to uh, going to log in as student one sometime I'm going to log in student two teacher one teacher two and so on then how do I so basically how do I solve this problem how do I make this script generic enough so that whenever I'm going to go as student one I will I will I'll go as student one whenever I'm logging a student one I will find I will register a string that is student o n e whenever I'm going to going to enter teacher one I'm going to I'm going to search for a string that is not student one anymore something else so this is where so so how do we solve this thing so think for a moment and try to solve before I give you a solution here okay so here is the solution what you do let's parameterize this thing okay so student one so click right click and then replace with a parameter and create a new parameter let's say the parameter name is student p underscore user id 
all right and this is a proper go to properties and it is going to create a file called p underscore user underscore id do a create table and p underscore user id is student one so now let's close it okay now okay so therefore so what you did you now put a parameter and that parameter is going to be read from that file and right now only we have one value that is student one so let's go back to the parameter properties and add teacher one as well okay and save and save okay so we have student one and teacher one now what i can do i can create add one more column and let's say the column name is p user name all right and then the name give something like this student one and teacher one so look like now here i give two spaces because that is what i have in my uh, database okay and now close it now you go here and also you parameter is this one okay so let's go here and insert uh, replace with a parameter create a new parameter and that parameter name is p underscore user underscore name and go to properties so instead of creating a new file path what you can do we can basically use that p user dat in p user id we have to point to the p user name all right and then here go by by number and go to the second column okay second column so close it okay now so what we have done here we have parameterized both the, the string the search string and the user name in the user and, and the user id and the user id what we have given go to the parameter properties we have given here to choose the first column see by you know that that's a mistake like you know, it is making it second column just go back and make it one okay so it's one so let, let me just check it if everything is just all right or not parameter properties here i'm expecting number two that means it's going to find out from here so now what's going to happen let's say i want to run this twice run logic twice okay so let's see what's going to happen in the first iteration is going to come here and it's going to find out a p user name what is the p user name p user name is the second column of this data file and it gets student one and it substitute here so now we are registering for to find a text called student one now we are going to submit form and what is the p user id for the first time if you go here p user id is the column number one what is that value that is student one okay now second iteration in the second iteration the p user name is going to go to the second row here in second row is going to find out teacher one so it will register with teacher one as the search string then whenever we are going to submit we are going to submit with the p user id which is teacher one so therefore this is how you can so this is how you can use the techniques that you learned from parameterization and the technique that you learned from the last video about content check combining together you can essentially solve this problem and now if i run the script this script should just run fine Okay. so all the script was passed and then if I see the test result and you can just go here and this is submit form and see here in the first iteration the text was student one however in the second iteration the text was teacher one 
and in web submit form also you can see that you are logged in as teacher one so essentially you use the concepts from parameterization and use the concept from the content check to solve this problem thank you